Ever scroll through the kids section on Amazon and glaze over tired of getting your kids toys that inevitably stack up in the basement? Change it up this year and be the dad who wins the day by getting these seven things. It will get you out of the house and engage with your son or daughter in ways you can't imagine. Hey, I'm Ryan Fields. Thank you for joining me today. I'm talking all things gifts and gift giving. I've got great videos talking about what we can specifically do, but there's chapters down below of things that you can fast forward to if something that really catches your eye. Jump around, anything that you need. These are not sponsored. None of this video is sponsored, but I do have some affiliate links down there. So you will be able to pay the same price or get a good discount and I'll get a kickback for the channel, which will help me to make more good videos to support you as we move forward in our dad journey together. So for what it's worth, just letting you know that, but let's jump straight into number one, radios, walkie talkies. Do you remember back in the day when we were kids and we got one of those old school walkie talkies that didn't even go 30 feet? The game has changed. These new radios today are absolutely fantastic. I use these things almost every time we are outside doing something active in the wilderness with my three kids. I've got two boys and I've got our girl who's three years old. We use, in particular, a Midland radio. You've got Motorola, you've got a lot of different options out there. What I like about the Midland radio in particular is I always wanna have a lapel microphone that comes off of it. And the lapel mic for Midlands has actually two prongs that plugs into it, so it's much more stable and you can hear a lot better as well. We take these things all over the place. We go skiing with them. Each of the kids have their own little backpack and we strap that Midland radio through there. So it is so critical, especially for Bromley, my almost nine-year-old son. When he's skiing out and going crazy and none of us can keep up with him because I've got my daughter between my legs holding on to her, we're able to radio each other to tell him where to go, to find him when he's in a sea of people, and to let him know when there are specific hazards that are coming toward him. It's a game changer. If you ski or do anything active with your kids, having radios are absolutely huge. We take them when we go biking, when we're staying in the mountains at a condo or something like that, and the kids are out playing in the forest, they take the radio with them so we can call them when it's time to go to dinner. These things are awesome. And they bring you back to the nostalgia of our childhood when we were playing with those things as well. The second thing, I know it's more practical, but a ski helmet. If you're taking your kids skiing or biking or things like that, Get them a helmet. Get the helmet with the MIPS signal on it. This is a much higher grade of testing and I really appreciate that. But in particular, the ski helmet that I have for our three kids is the Smith helmet. It's their junior helmet. What I like about it in particular is it's so much more fuzzy and comfortable and warm than some of the other helmets that are on the market. Plus it's incredibly safe and they look really good too. They're not exactly cheap, but man, if you're trying to protect your kiddos' heads, you gotta have that ski helmet. And I always wear one too, even if I don't think I need it, just so I can be a good role model for my kiddos. So that's number two. Number three, bags for every activity. It's easy to say, all right, I'm just going to keep all of the kids' stuff for all of their activities, skiing, biking, soccer. Our kiddos do a lot of dance in one central place and then try to pack it out and then put it in one bag before they go. From my perspective, take it for what it's worth, I have a separate dedicated bag for each child for each activity. This will ensure that when we are going skiing, I take the ski bag with their helmet, their gloves, all of their stuff, ski passes, so it's in one spot. All we do is throw it in the back. We even have it for myself and my wife as well. Okay, we're going skiing. Let's get the five ski bags. Let's toss them in the back of the Yukon and we'll get going. Same goes for dance, same goes for soccer. All of the kids have their own dedicated bags that have the stuff in it. Man, it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. I know I've been absolutely lambasted by my wife when I show up to an activity and I've either got the wrong stuff, the wrong bag, or the wrong activities. If I know that I grab that bag, life is so much easier. And I've got some really cool bags that won't break the bank listed down below that might be able to help you out as well. Talking about activities, Crunch Labs. If you've ever heard of Mark Rover and Crunch Labs or even KiwiCo, these things are fantastic. If you've got a kiddo, boy or girl, that's about six, seven, eight years old, these things are amazing. They will be able to learn STEAM, whatever they call that, what that stands for, science, technology, engineering, tools and problem solving by utilizing something like a Crunch Labs box. It comes once a month, it's a subscription. The things they build are freaking cool. And the cool thing is, Dad, you and I, we can sit down with our kiddos, help them build that, 
create some of that bonding time and help them to be more inspired to learn more and do better when they're playing with these type of engineering boxes. Crumb slabs are so cool. We're on our second year with this and our middle kiddo, Callan, is really wanting them. So we're probably going to pull that trigger soon enough too. So finally, as we move forward, we're doing some activity stuff, right? So a bike. Getting your kids on a bike is absolutely huge. Having them learn those skills, getting them off of training wheels, which I actually don't recommend. You should try to do something like a um, balanced bike to get them really started, and then they can move into that. We have womb bikes for our kiddos. I've got that there in the description. They're not exactly cheap, but I think they're the best built bikes out there for kids so that they can really take and enjoy and be active with their bikes as they move forward. And on that same token, scooters. When we're out going for a walk, sometimes kids don't want to get on a bike. The scooter's just easy to grab and go. So there's some great Razor scooters out there that are even more robust enough for me to be able to ride around as well. And frankly, I have a lot of fun doing it. So get some scooters for your kiddos, get outside, do a walk. And then when you're done with that, as we move forward, you can talk about enjoying that time with your kids without screens being on. So get some games. Uno, our family absolutely loves Uno. We play that all the time. Even our little three-year-old girl is starting to understand the concept of Uno and she's playing with us as well. And even you can get a kid's version of Monopoly. Monopoly is fantastic. You can learn a lot of information about how to do finance and things like that, even with your kiddos at a young age. That's a lot of fun to do and it keeps you from jumping on a screen or watching a show or anything like that. So those are some of those great options. Now, for dads, you and me, if we want to learn how to do things better and you want to get some things for yourself for the holidays, check this link right here. Watch the video about what you should be getting yourself so you can continue to win the day for your family. Let me know if I missed anything. Put it in the comments description below. Hope you're doing well. Thank you and have a great holiday season. Talk to you soon.